Welcome back to the Screensavers. When you buy an Xbox, you're not just buying a video game console. It's actually a pretty darn powerful PC. And there are people who want access to the PC. But you can't just open the box and part, start putting software in there. Microsoft has put copy protection systems in place. However, wherever there is a copy protection system, there is somebody who's designed a way to get around it. We've sent Kevin Rose off in search of Xbox mods. And he's come back with a, with a report we're going to do all week long on Xbox modding. Now, before mm -hmm. we show you any of this stuff, it's very important that you understand, as we just learned from Mark, that Xbox mods, A, are not supported by Microsoft. They may, in fact, be illegal under the DMCA. And, of course, if you mod your Xbox, you are voiding the warranty and could even be breaking the law. And if you do it wrong, you could damage your Xbox. And don't come crying to Microsoft if you do, okay? But let's talk a little bit about what people are doing to the All Xbox. Right. This is an Xbox, and if you look at it, it really does, does look like a computer motherboard. Well, it is a, it is a computer. There's an Intel processor on here. It's a, a P3? 700 P3 variation. Okay. 733 megahertz. Mm -hmm. Has an NVIDIA graphics card built on there. That's right there. It has yeah. RAM. It has a hard drive. Oh, there it is. I mean, just like a normal PC would. Uh, but... Unlike a normal PC, you can't just put a, a DVD or a CD in the, in the drive and no, expect you to can't. install software. What's keeping you from doing that? The BIOS. And what the BIOS is basically is it's a chip that sits on the motherboard. It right. says, when you turn on the machine, it looks to that chip and says, what can I do with this box? And what you can do is play games and anything that's signed by Microsoft. That's what the chip is telling the box. Okay, so it checks the hard drive, for instance? Checks the hard drive, takes a look at all the components and says, okay, I'm a gaming machine. You can plug controllers into me. That's about all I can do. So people who want to get beyond that have right. figured out a way to do that with something called a mod chip. A mod chip. Show right. me a mod. You have a mod chip. Here. This is a mod chip right where did you Where did you get this, by the way? This is kind of contraband, isn't it? Well, you can get those online if you just do a search on Google for mod, uh, Xbox mod really? chips. They're selling them out in the open? Didn't, didn't Microsoft put one of the Far Eastern mod chip companies out of business? They have shut down a few of them. Mm -hmm. it, it depends. on If they're selling the chips that aren't flashed, uh, X, uh, Microsoft can't shut them down. But if they are flashed, that's when they get in trouble. Well, that's interesting. So if you just sold these chips, these are just regular chips wired in a particular way. There's nothing exactly. illegal, nothing illegal about, that. about it. It's what's the software that's on there. So the some companies are the sending them, selling them without the software on there? Yeah, th like this one here is uh, what's called the Executor 2. And if you take a look at this adapter here, this adapter allows you to flash program it through a parallel port. This oh, just hooks right into the back so of the So this goes to the parallel here. port, and this, this actually plugs fits onto in. the chip. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, and then where do you get it. the software that you're going to flash on there? You have to find it in news groups or oh, that's forums interesting. online. So, so that's kind of a, uh, that's the underground right that's there. That's the underground part yeah. of it. And what does this BIOS do that you put on the chip? Well, what it does is it sits in front of the Microsoft BIOS. Right. So when you turn it on well, after you have it installed, it says, well, I'm a gaming machine, but I can also run third-party unsigned code. Right. Uh, you can hook a keyboard, a mouse up to me. You can do all kinds of stuff that you couldn't normally do with the Microsoft So BIOS. this is that circumventing device that Mark Correct. was talking about that actually circumvents the copy protection mm -hmm. on the Microsoft Xbox. Now, this chip that uh, you got here actually came with software on it. It came pre-flashed. That's the executed well, they two worried about <laughs> Those are the guys that are going to get shut down, the uh, ones that are pre-flashed. Is this, is this company in America? Uh, that was in Canada, actually. In North America? They're in Canada. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I guess they figure maybe they're a little bit uh, uh, removed. Maybe yeah, they're not. Although the other one was in, uh, in Hong Kong, I think. So how, what is involved in installing a chip like this? Well, the first thing you have to do is you have to open up the Xbox. Okay. And as easy as that may sound, it's really not that easy. You have to get what's called uh, torque screws. Okay. Now, these, uh, TiVo does this. Apple does this. A lot of companies use mm -hmm. these. They're not standard screw, you, but you screws. can get this at any radio show. Right, right. You yeah, can pick those up. Okay. But, but I mean, that's when you're one first looking to, to yeah. open it up, you're not going to have that sitting there. The minute you open it up, of course, you're voiding the warranty. That voids it right away okay. the second you break the seal. So you open it up, unscrew the motherboard, and you pull the motherboard out. Oh, boy. <laughs> there it goes. This is where you take it out of the All system. Right. Get this out of the way. Okay. And if you take a look here, there's actually eight solder points right here on the motherboard. So you have to solder this in by hand. You have to solder this in by hand. Now, you probably have to have fairly good soldering skills. Those are, those are fairly small solder. Well, you think those are small. There's one on the back. Let me show you the one on the back that, uh, if you take a look here, this little solder point, that is the tiny one. That's called the D0 solder point. If I accidentally get solder on any of those other dots or on the lines there, what happens? Yeah, you're going to break your Xbox pretty much. Okay. Yeah, so, so you, you have <laughs> to that's what happens. You have to know what you're doing. Yeah. Uh, for, are there, uh, there now? There are solderless solutions too. Now, there right? are. In fact, I have one right here. I'll show you. It is uh, this one here just came out, and if you take a look at the back side here, it has these little pins that rest right on top of the leads. I'm just a, so if you just what you doesn't it let me fall, show you how yeah, let me show you how it, it it hooks in here. What you do is you just align it with this hole right here, and you see. Let me tilt this up so you here, can I'll see better. It. Okay. 
you can screw it down right there, right oh, into the into the hole. So that keeps it from falling off. Exactly, and that'll rest and push right up against those leads that you would normally have to solder. Hmm. Well, that's 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 a little bit easier. It's really interesting to see how professional and how uh, elaborate these people are going. You know, they're some really it's great. It's amazing. It's, I can't believe they came up with this thing. I mean, these things are they push in. Obviously, there's a market for this stuff. Definitely. All right. Do you have any figures about how many they're, they're selling? Or? I have no idea. It's a big scene, though. There's, I mean, when you go to the forums, there's you know tens there's of thousands of people messages talking, about, talking it. about it. So a lot of people are doing it right now. All right. So um, you put that on there, right. and then it's going to allow you to do a variety of other things, like putting new hard drives and stuff. Is there any way Microsoft can find out, figure out that you've done that? I mean, can they check back? Well, there is. Have you heard of uh, Xbox Live? That's the network gaming. That's the network yep. gaming. In fact, that's why it has an Ethernet, Ethernet port. Ethernet port, exactly. Yeah. You plug that uh, into your cable modem or DSL and it allows you to play games against your friends. Right. Sounds good. Right. But when your mod chip is installed and you start playing those games, Microsoft sees that mod chip installed. They can tell. And they're like, no, no. And they, they lock you, they shut you down so that you can never play Xbox Live again. <laughs> okay, well, that's a good reason not. So yeah, it, it, basically, if you, does that mean if I put a mod chip in, it's impossible for me to pay Xbox Live now. I mean, that's it forever. Well, there's a way around that as well. Uh, actually, why, why uh, am I not surprised? <laughs> what is that? We actually have. Let me show you here in the case here. This is a, just a jumper here that fits on the chip. It's a real cat and mouse game, isn't it? it? Is. Microsoft does something, You're going back and, and these forth. guys do something. So you just plug this onto your little mod chip here, and what that's going to allow you to do is flip this switch in the back. And when you flip it up, the mod chip is enabled. Flip it down, mod chip is disabled. So you have an on-off switch for the mod. Yep. And Microsoft, if it's off, can't see it. They can't see it whatsoever. So, you, it's so, so in other words, you got to remember before you're going to play the Xbox Live game, the mod that you got to switch off the oh mod. Oh yeah, if you forget, then it's over. All you're right. going to lock. What it kinds out. of things can once? All right, so, so so somebody's gone out. They've they've spent how much are these? A thousand dollars, fifty dollars? What's that? The chips. The, the chips? Uh, forty five bucks. Oh, no, they're not much. Not okay, much so at somebody's all. gone out, spent forty five bucks. They've done this soldering. Okay. They've modded it. What can they do now with their Xbox? Well, at this point, they can't do a whole lot. They have to. It looks just like a normal Xbox. You turn right. it on, and there's no difference. Right. What you have to do is you have to install software on the hard drive to mm -hmm. replace the desktop environment that they have. A on new, there. a new operating system. A new operating system. Okay. We're going to show you that tomorrow. That's called Evo. Evox. Evox. Evolution X is what they call it. Right. It's short for. They call it Evox. And th then once I've got Evox, what can I do? I can put a new hard drive in. There. You can do all we kinds of things. We have a list actually. That, Some of the yeah, things we you have can a do. List. You can put a hard drive in. You can play your MP3s and, like it says, local. It becomes a media network. center. Oh, a complete media center. You do videos. I have all my videos, favorite music videos and home videos on there. Pictures, uh, FTP server. You can run Linux. <laughs> I mean, there actually. I just read the slash that today. There's a. There, you don't have to mod uh, the Xbox to play uh, to put Linux on it, right? They, they have a new it, workaround. The J there's like a bug in the James Bond game. Yeah, that that is really tricky to do. But <laughs> you have to be playing James Bond and then have Linux on the little flash card. And it, they, they, I don't know how these guys come up with these things. <laughs> Pretty amazing. This is uh, you. We actually have another Xbox that has already had the chip installed, mm -hmm. and this is the new operating system. That's it's Evolution X. Evolution X. Uh -huh. So instead of my green Xbox screen. I'm going to see this instead. Right, and it has a complete menu system that you use to launch various different applications and DVD players. It can play any region DVD, all kinds of Interesting. stuff. Interesting. Even well, PAL. That's what we're going to take a look at tomorrow mm -hmm. and through the rest of the week. Now that we've got an Xbox that has this mod chip installed, what can you do with it? We're going to show you a, a variety of different things. None of them are illegal, it's the, but it's the installation of the Xbox exactly. mod chip. In fact, a lot of these software programs are open source. Hmm. They have them on the web. They have a bunch of different developers working on them, like 20, 30 developers. So you can go there and even help contribute to that if you right. want to. Very interesting. Thank you, Kevin Rose. For details uh, on the Xbox modding scene, Kevin's written an article for us at thescreensavers.com. You could read more there. And make sure you tune in all this week to see what else Xbox modders have been up to. A lot Don't of cool go, stuff. A lot of amazing stuff. Don't go anywhere, folks. In just a minute, we're going to find out what scientists do when the Earth... Start shaking. You ever been through a big earthquake? No, I haven't. Oh, get ready. I'm in the right place. It's, yeah, you are. It's still to come. You feel it's moving a little bit. We'll discuss if you should join the plasma revolution. Kevin says you should. In the